Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 4 Strategy Gaming, casting a game for you today between Sarens and Saki. This is a Protoss vs. Terran here on Kulos Ravine, and this is actually one of my favorite maps, and I'm actually kind of, uh, it's kind of upset that they took it out of the uh, 1v1 map pool is definitely one of the maps that I enjoyed the most from the beta but let's talk about the map real quick for those players who haven't experienced it or played it we do have a natural expansion um, but it's kind of far away from the main I in, in comparison to many other natural expansions it's a little bit harder to defend you have really have to move your units pretty far out of your base to defend it and then your main base is pretty vulnerable at that point now we also have these destructible rocks right inside of the base and that leads into another natural expansion now obviously this one's a little bit more difficult to move to because you do have to contend with that. And then in addition, we do have these destructible rocks on the other side, as well as the Zelnaga Tower. And you can see, of course, the same thing is here. Same thing is true for our other player here, Saki. The very same very same setup here. Uh, now, aside from that, there are high yields on either corner of the map. And then also, we do have these Zelnaga Towers right in the middle. Many Zelnaga Towers, in fact, right in the middle. And then more destructible rocks over here. And that can be very, uh, very well exploited. Now, it's not going to play as much of a role in this matchup, considering their positions. But this straight shot here, if we get destruction of these destructible rocks in all sections that could add to uh, basically a little bit shorter or another roundabout way to get to your opponent's base so we can see right now Saki is moving out with this probe we're going to try to do some scouting trying to find his opponent grabbing the Zelnaga tower and then going to be moving actually to the other Zelnaga tower he's trying to catch Siren's SCV in route. He's actually going to miss it, it seems like, though. If he hits here, yeah, and he's going to go over to that corner, so he's going to miss Siren's SCV as he pushes on down here. Um, so that's too bad for Saki, and it looks like Siren's probably is going to be able to scout Saki's base before Saki finds Siren. So grabbing the Zelnaga, and is he going to move down? Yes, he is. So looks like Siren's is going to get the first scout. He's going to find out exactly where Saki is. He's not going to see much other than the ordinary. First gateway's in, Cyber Next Core coming right away as well. So there we go, good job, Saki. Now over here for Sarens, uh, seeing a pretty standard opener as well. Yeah, very, very standard. First Marine's coming out, uh, Refinery is up. Orwell Command is transferring right now, and we're going to see what his next move is, what his next decision. Now again, in scouting the base, very standard stuff, seeing that Cyber Next Core down, so nothing, he's not too worried as of yet. First Zealot's building right now, he can tell that because the little building production there that goes on, the little glowy in the middle, and those two little, two little prongs come up on either side as well. And now finally, no, no. So unfortunately, uh, Saki still hasn't scouted Saren's base, and actually he's not going to be able to at this point. The first Marine is out, so Saki missed his window of opportunity to actually get inside of Saren's base and see what was going on. And we're going to actually be seeing a Reaper come out and then Concussive Shell. So we're going to be seeing Reaper followed up probably by a Marauder push. This looks to be the most likely... Uh, possibility here and that is what we're going to be seeing and now finally Sirens is forced to push out of Saki's base with that first zealot pursuing him and the stalkers right behind so once that stalker out he really has no choice and trying to hide in the corner and I think he's going to be able to do so. So, oh no, never mind. I'm going to be just going for the mineral patch and then moving on up. Now, Probe going to be trying to move up into Sauron's base, but not going to happen with this Marine here. Decides to pull back. And there is that first Reaper. Going to be moving down and trying to do some damage. And it looks like Saki does intend on expanding up here. So, going to be getting rid of these destructible rocks uh, as soon as possible, basically. And the first Stalker... Where is that stalker? No, so actually I was uh, I was ill-informed. He actually started out with a sentry, but that's not going to do him as well against this Reaper. Now, it's going to do a pretty good job, but uh, he can manage to pull away from the Reaper much easier than he can pull away from a stalker. So that actually wasn't the best decision because of that reason, but now we can see that Sarens is going to be pulling back. I'm uh, going to be trying to move up here, and actually he can probably get uh, some pre free pop shots over here of these guys trying to break down these destructible rocks, and that should be a pretty easy kill, actually. You're going to be taking a couple shots there at that Zealot, forcing the Zealot to pull back. Sentry's going to be moving forward, though, preventing that Reaper from pushing down and doing much more damage. And again, he might be able to get a couple shots off here. We're going to see exactly what he does. Observer's going to be moving out right now for Saki and Reaper forced to pull away. So let's go back into Siren's base, and we can see that alternative or that, uh, that secondary push coming up right now. Four Sarens, his three racks build here. Very, very standard stuff. Another Marine going to be coming out of there. No no attachment, no tech lab or anything else like that. And what is he going to be doing? I think he might be going for these rocks, looking for the easy access into Saki's base, knowing that Saki is just trying to, trying to destroy the rocks of his own. And this actually could be a little bit of a problem for Saki. I'm not sure Saki is going to be properly prepared for this. Observer is going to be moving up, and he's going to see exactly what's going on. Is he going to catch that Marauder en route? Yes, he is. So he's going to be following the Marauder, and he's going to see exactly what's going on. So definitely has cause for concern. Checking these destructible rocks first, but obviously he's going to see those aren't destroyed. But now he's going to be fully aware of the fact 
that Sarans is attempting to push into the back wall here. We can see here Observer moving up. There we go. So fully aware of that fact. Reaper still dancing around trying to do a little bit of damage. Not a whole lot going on. And with seeing that, Saki decides, well, I'm not going to help him walk into my base. I'm going to stop destroying these rocks here. And this push is pretty much continuous from Sarans. You can see here just sticking with the three racks, keeping those resources nice and low and pumping out the units. And that's exactly what you can do with this three racks build. Eventually, you'll start to oversaturate and you'll start to get a little bit of extra minerals. And at that point, you can usually expand or tech up or whatever whatever you choose to do. Now, the problem here for Saki is that this is a very wide ramp. So that is why we're seeing more than usual when it comes to the uh, sentry count here. He's going for a little bit more than usual. He's going to want to force field that, if at all possible. Although he does have quite a bit of immortals here, he might be trying to just hit it head on. And I think Saren's aware of that fact, deciding I'm just going to pull out and leave this avenue open for future use. So he's just going to be hanging out now, uh, pulling his troops back, trying to get a little reinforcement, and just provide a threat of pushing in from two angles. So now he has two options into Saki's base as opposed to just one. And Saki going to be moving up in the wrong direction, and this actually could be a little bit of a problem. Saren's is pushing down exactly where he should be. And Saki is going to be pushing up and finally knowing that this push is coming, he's going to have to pull back right now. He saw with the probe there, so fully aware of the fact that the push is coming in this direction. He's going to move down and he should have actually no problem force fielding this ramp unless Sarens can get in and pick off those it's going to be very, very close here, pushing forward, trying to do as much damage as possible. Force field's going down, to be expected. Um, SCB's moving forward, trying to do a little bit of damage. This one Marauder in a whole lot of trouble does get picked off. And so not quite enough energy to keep this up forever, but he's going to be able to keep it up for a little bit of time. And you can see the really commitment to this push here with all of those SCBs pushing forward. More force field's going down. He might want to put some forces in the back here as well. Might want to rally some troops over there. That would probably be a really good idea. But not doing that as of yet, and we are getting some more sentries warped in, so this force field action is going to continue. And deciding finally, I'm going to pull back, try to go to the other location here. Now grabbing the Zelnaga Tower, Saki is fully aware of that, so he's going to be able to re-rally his troops over in this direction, which should be happening in just a moment. And we do have a Colossus coming out, so this could spell quite a bit of trouble for Sarens. You can see again, Sarens sticking to this three racks push. He's still keeping those resources low, hasn't done much else, and he's really committed to this. He needs to do a lot of damage. He needs to win this, or else he's going be too far behind this is basically an all-in here with all these SCVs that he decided to pull forward as well and the real problem is going to be in just a few moments as Colossus is out and he's going to need to snipe that down very quickly or else he's going to lose all of his forces and Zealot's pushing forward force fields going down cutting Sarin's units in half force fields preventing him as well from getting in range of that Colossus and this could be the end for Sarin's it's just a little bit too much here for him to handle an excellent force field placement the fact this Colossus is up but snipe going down there on the Colossus so there that's a big loss for Saki but unfortunately at this moment Sarin's doesn't have quite enough to do enough damage right now he is rallying some troops, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. We do have another Colossus coming on the board, and once that hits, there's going to be a whole lot of trouble here for Sarens. He's going to want to try to take down those Immortals as quickly as possible, too, because they do a ton of damage to those Marauders. Chasing down the Marines of Marauders, the Immortals, Zealots, Stalkers, and Sentries they are going to take off as many free shots as they can get, finally deciding to pull back. And I'm not sure. At this point, I think Sarens is a little bit too far behind in tech and just in unit counts in general. I think he's a little bit low. Let's check that army size there. So yeah, he is a little bit lower at this point than Saki. So Saki not only has the tech advantage, but he also has just more units, resources in general. So a bit of a problem for Sarge. We can see Sarge trying to come down with this expansion. He's just going to try to keep up this aggression and keep pushing as strong as he can. You can see still no factory, no second refinery. And this is basically just a standard three racks hard push. Um, a very standard build from Terran. It not working out quite the way that Sarans would like. They're going to try to do a little bit more poking and prodding. See what he can do for damage. A nice spread of the units here for Saki. Also having that Colossus hanging out in the back. So good job there. And I think it would be wise of Sarans to just retreat at this point. He's actually going to have to be worried about a counter push of his own. Um, I would consider maybe getting a couple of bunkers up. Uh, it's going to be tough though. He even has to watch this back. Uh, even going for these destructible rocks. Destroying this so that he can grab the Zelnaga Tower to see a push coming in that direction that would be a good idea if you ask me grabbing the zelnog tower in the middle though he's going to see this push coming from the middle which i believe he was moving his units for a moment i expected that push and i expected in general i think he would want to move out sometime soon also i could uh, could see an expansion sometime soon as well from Saki, that would be a probable choice here you can see his resources starting to pile up a little bit there's that pylon go down probably going to see an expansion move up right here 
Little task force moving out for Sarns, trying to do some damage, unfortunately getting chopped down and taking a few shots before they were even actually attacked. I think they were rallied over there and uh, ended up taking a few hits before they actually even retaliated. Trying to push in the opposite direction now, trying to distract them out back and then push in the front, but that isn't even going to be the wisest decision. You can see here with these two Colossus, could be a little bit of a problem. So yeah, there we go. Moving back his forces. There is that expansion right now for Saki. Let's go back to that production tab, see what's going on. Still nothing but Marines and Marauders. There's a fourth barracks now that's expansions going down would like to see a little bit of a tech up as well could use some more units other than marines and marauders that could be quite beneficial for sarans maybe pushing into medevacs maybe getting that star power for vikings as well as he does know colossus is on the board vikings could prove to be very very beneficial Saki might even be going for another expansion might be double expanding we're gonna see what happens here though nexus moving down over here and gonna be seeing a transfer of the units as soon as that pops up and as soon as that's ready to go and Saren's SCV here fully aware of the push from Saki three Colossus and lots of zealots here a couple centuries of mortal and a few stalkers and this could be a little bit much moving his expansion in fact to the high ground here choosing to move it to the high ground and uh, that Colossus could actually make quite quick work of the units here on the edge he can has the range to pick things off right at the edge in fact let's check there yeah the thermal lance upgrade is in fact up so this is going to be a little bit of a problem Saki a little confused at this point he thought there was an expansion here but now realizes that there isn't and so he must be wondering what's going on now one thing that Sarns doesn't want to do is fight in this choke and he wants to be able to get up to this closet if at all possible trying to move forward and snipe but no force fields going down preventing that and that stim is going to hurt him quite a bit Saki's going to move forward try to get him to stim and then pull back and force field and that's gonna slowly whittle away at his units and you can see here pulling just out of the range of these marines and marauders and i think sarans has given up at this point because he took a huge loss there i'm not sure what he was doing there more force fields going down and again this is just not the position for sarans to fight in this colossus having free reign and doing so much damage and sarans is forced to call a good game again this positioning here this was not a good place for Sarans to fight Saki's units because of this choke, um, allowing the Colossus basically to pick off at those Marines and Marauders, and then once they stem up, pulling them back and dropping the force fields, you can just see how devastating that was for Sarans. So yeah, guys, pretty good game uh, between these two players. Definitely enjoyed it. You saw pretty much a standard three racks push here from Sarans, and then his opponent, Saki, just going for that two and three gate uh, robotics facility, opening up with Immortals, and then transitioning into Colossus. And that's pretty much what you want to do as Protoss when you see a really heavy Marine Marauder build that's going to be one of your better choices it's either that or high templar but anyways guys this has been force from force strategy gaming sorry if my cast wasn't quite as uppity as it's been in the past um had a pretty late night at the bar and then on top of that uh the lady is asleep right now so i'm trying not to be too loud trying not to wake her up because that would be very very rude anyways guys again this has been force from force strategy gaming if you like my videos make sure you do subscribe to the channel keep watching and keep owning working pretty good so far might be seeing a high templar drop i would imagine high templar in a war prism that usually means high templar drop gonna be probably an engagement going down right here though uh ghost moving forward emp going down great job storm also going down charge zealots moving on in siege tank sieging up a little bit too late so those zealots are gonna be able to get up on them and do a lot of damage colossus is gonna be dropping to those vikings right now pushing forward against those marauders however with that tank fire from back here the push is probably gonna stop right at this line picking up those vikings gonna be pulling them away right now probably want to use them on that bad boy right there that would be a good idea but i guess not instead he's just going to lose them might be losing this command center as well wants to get that out of there as soon as possible colossus wants to attack the command center but he cannot he is not allowed even though he is like five stories tall <laughs>